Hi all, Mass Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today we're taking a look at this APC Smart UPS. It's a 450 watt, 19 inch, one unit sized uninterrupted power supply. As you can see, it is pretty thin and not rated for that much power. But let's do a teardown. As a 19 inch unit, it comes with two brackets and it has a battery insert hole here at the front and also to, seems like it, to move some weight to the front where you actually have the brackets. Over here we have a display, but that went missing in the scrapyard. Nothing in the sides but the air intakes. At the back side we have what seems to be the uh, standard run-of-the-mill UPS connections. We have a serial interface, we have a telephone line protection, and we have our input and we have four outputs. What a disappointment, but uh, what did you expect from 450 watt UPS power? Somewhat more, I would say. A lot of room in this 19 inch rack. At least it makes it easier to get an overview. Over here we have the battery connections. We have the power input, mains, black and white wires going over here. Over here we as well have the relays switching between running on mains or UPS power. We have the connector over to the output choke slash transformer. And we have the inverter output to the other end of the output transformer and choke here. Over in the control and power electronics section, let's zoom in further. It is marked on the controller Smart UPS SC 2004 APC Group. The full bridge output bridge here is IRF 1010E MOSFETs, rated for 200 watt dissipation, 60 volt DC and 84 amp current. Other than that we seem to have mostly TTL or CMOS logic feedback circuits and measurements. A very simple UPS circuit. There is a 6 MHz crystal sitting next to the controller. Most likely impossible to see, but the markings underneath the sticker says Atmel 89C51. That is a 8-bit 40-pin microcontroller with 4 kilobytes of flash RAM. So that makes out the whole heart of this UPS. A nice Atmel controller. The Fulbright power sections just sit with four passive heat sinks. And as we can see, this is TO220 packages. And with only passive cooling, there is no fans inside. And we have a large transformer sitting right next to it here, which is rated for 130 degrees Celsius. I would say that this design is likely to kill itself from overheat over time if it is not installed in a proper forced air cooling 19 inch rack. And a small unit like this would most likely be bought for small businesses or home use, which would not install loud fans to keep this cool. So I think the manual actually would state that this needs to active cooling. But as you can see, yeah, it has been thrown out with I would say it's probably also after it's a lifetime expectancy at 2004 to, yeah, that's a good 20 years old by now. Damn. Thank you all for watching the teardown of this small 19 inch rack UPS. And it was quick, it did not contain much. So until next time, see ya.